I am out here today uh, in our home gym. It's uh, pretty nippy out today, uh, below zero. And uh, I've got these uh, succulent deer legs here. <laughs> and uh, I thought we'd feed the pups in the gym today. And uh, let them chew on some legs. Kratos. What's that one? Badge. Taking that one. Lou. Mr. Kurgan. And we've got uh, Ruka and Badge fighting over one. There you go, sweetie. Everybody wants to take them in there to eat you on them. Rick has accumulated two. <laughs> Badge coming in to say hi. What good girl. You got two of them, huh, sweetie? This is their uh, old puppy pen. I've showed it on the channel before when they were little. We uh, kept them in there with a bunch of shredded paper. That's why you see the shredded paper around there. Very good. Somebody take yours. And yeah, we got a couple other spares. The other dogs are inside chewing on some deer legs. I thought uh, we'd have a uh, family mukbang today. Is he coming over to say thanks for a meal? Good girl. Is there our battle rope? There, we do a lot of battle rope stuff in here. We've got a tire there for. Uh, doing tire smashes with our maces. We got a large selection of maces in various sizes from uh, seven pounds up to 35. Kurgan's trying to kneel down. I got Honey Badger coming over with hers to say hi. Kurgan coming to get some love. <laughs> Like the pups have brought all theirs in uh, the kennel that you uh hey, Miss Ruka's getting beautiful. Hey, sweetie, coming over to say hi for thank you for her meal. She's such a lover. And the pups all like to say hi and thanks. See, Ruka's looking beautiful. So is Kratos, and the badge is always. Look up, Kratos, you're blocking me. The beautiful Ruka. Badge and Ruka have each accumulated two. <laughs> Badge has passed up Ruka in size. Ruka at one time was the largest female in the litter, but uh, Badge has eclipsed her. Ruka is still very large, but uh, Badge is just a behemoth. Kratos has got him two over there. We got Kurgan behind me checking things out. Lulu's down by the squat rack. If you're wondering why their flat their eyes are glowing, it's because I'm uh, filming with my phone's flash on, and uh, that's just really Kurgan. 
that's just the uh, no, I said Kurgan's name, Lou had to come over. Again, just a little family mukbang. These legs are just kind of a chew toy snack. They're not their uh, meal for the day. They will get some other food. But they will eat all these. Over the next day or so, they'll be chewed to nothing. Got the three ring circus here. For those who will ask, is it safe for uh, the dogs to be chewing on bones? Yes, uh, raw bones are perfectly safe. Only cooked bones are dangerous. I will uh, leave information in the uh, video description regarding that if you'd like to learn more about the BARF diet. It was created by, uh, it's a raw diet uh, protocol created by veterinarian Ian Billinghurst. He, uh, go to a number of very good books on it you can find on Amazon with a little search the veterinarian from Australia there are other uh, diet raw food diet protocols I also recommend uh, both the pre model diet and RMB diet any of those three protocols will be better than a commercial fed diet. See badge is beautiful. And so is Miss Rupa. Miss Kratos Mr. Kratos is as well. Very happy with how this whole litter is turning out. I often discuss in my videos. I like to pet my dogs when they're eating. It teaches them not to. Oh, hey, sweetie. Ruka coming over to say hi because she sees me petting the badge. I like to pet them when they're eating. Uh, it teaches them not to be food aggressive. And you can see all my dogs uh, don't mind being touched at all. There, right, sweetie. It's Ruka. Where's yours, Kurgan? Lulu thinks I'm gonna let everybody outside. No, not yet, sweetie. I'll show you our uh, gym equipment we have around here. We've got a pretty good setup. Got a nice squat rack. A couple of different uh, squat bars there. We got some. Uh, attachment handles for our uh, landmine over here which is the bar uh, attached to this device we've got uh, some nice locks again a number of maces that uh, we use for uh, tire smashing and for other various uh, mace exercises got a uh, Old bull flex over here, I think I've had for 25, 30 years. Still use it for a few things here and there. Again, I uh, have a pretty decent home gym. Lots of kettlebells, various dumbbells. We have uh, all kinds of grip training equipment, fat grips. I love these. These are uh, push up globes. Maybe I'll demonstrate them sometime. They're uh, they're pretty cool. I've got a few various different types of push-up globes. You know, you put your hand on them and you put them down. You do push-ups. Some uh, grip training stuff there. These you hang from a pull-up bar and you put your hands on them and you do pull-ups. Again, it's a lot of grip training stuff. Got them in various diameters. Club bells. Various dumbbells, medicine balls, exercise balls, we got it all.
<laughs> so that's how this old paratrooper stays in shape. And also the beautiful Tammy, everybody uses it. My son spends lots of time out here. Quite a bit of this stuff is his as well. I think there's some farmer carry handles. The other one doesn't have any weight on it, there's two sets. And these are our battle ropes. It's a uh, calf device. Damn, Ruka, you think you got enough there? <laughs> I'm going to take a couple of those and distribute them. Very good. Are you just not interested in chewing today? Says I let the puppies have them. Nice thing about them chewing in there is it's uh, easy enough to uh, just take our uh, mop and clean it up. You want to go outside? Okay. No, not you. You're chewing. Nope. Oof. Kurgan. Somebody steal yours now? says I will take them all. There you go. Is that big He getting big. Badge says, hey you're giving him love. Give me some. That right there by the way is an old uh, Kobe uh, dog treadmill I bought from uh, the Kobe family. I haven't used it for uh, a few years. I used to use it to uh, condition my Renaissance Bulldogs. It's a carpet mill. That's Ulu going through some bones back there, you can hear. And they have a uh, no problem powering through this stuff. It's a badge, badge coming over to get some love. Say thank you for the food. See if you can get moms. <laughs> hey, badge. Badge keeps wanting to share her meal over here by us. They're my two freezers I use for the dogs. It's a chest freezer. That's usually where I'll put some of the wild game that I have to freeze for a while, like deer and stuff. This is a large upright freezer. This thing's nice because it goes to uh, negative six degrees Fahrenheit, so I can really keep stuff cold in that thing. Badger just shook her head and a chunk of deer fat flew across the room. <laughs> That's uh, Kratos and Badge. Rika's over there. These crates here are uh, what I use to feed the dogs their raw meals uh, when I feed them inside and not outside. 
I have uh, three crates in here that I use for some of the dogs, and then uh, I have a couple crates also uh, out uh, out in the house there that uh, I use for some of the dogs. This is my my garage, by the way. And uh, what that does is it allows me a uh, contained area there where the dogs can eat the raw food, and then I can just easily disinfect it uh, with uh, some uh, ble bleach and water spray and get that all cleaned up. It's uh, very easy to do. People sometimes ask about things like that, and so I'm just uh, showing you how I do that. People sometimes ask, well, do they eat the hair and everything too? Hey, buddy. Yes, they do. Hair is uh, actually a natural dewormer. It uh, does help uh, deworm. I don't uh, recommend it uh, in lieu of... Uh, normal uh, warmers, but uh, it does uh, help warm them. And that's Miss Ruka. She's beautiful. That's the badge and Kratos uh, chewing on the same leg. Somewhere there is a uh, Sesame Street uh, skit about cooperation in there. <laughs> you see these guys are all one happy pack. I'm uh, filming this with my phone so it doesn't have the uh, nice uh, stabilization that my GoPro does. But uh, it works better in dim lighting like this. Well, here you can see she's already eaten that whole deer leg and there's just uh, little bones left of it. And that shows you how quick an adult can uh, power through one of these. Hoof there, she's finishing off. Again, they are easily able to uh, eat a deer leg. Matter of fact, when I give them whole deer, they'll eat the whole deer uh, skull and everything. Often there's only a few teeth left when they're done. there a little piece left that she's powering through and one on the ground I always keep a couple cases of water here stored in the garage uh, just in case you have some type of emergency that shuts the stores down for a couple weeks. Oh, it's good to keep a couple weeks of food and water stored. You never know. Power outages, natural disasters, or as in our case, uh, riots in your city. <laughs> We have uh, plenty of videos on the channel uh, if 
you want to see my uh, man on the street uh, videos uh, during the Minneapolis riots, Tammy and I uh, went right out in the heart of it and filmed it all. Gives a little different perspective than uh, the skewed one you got on the news. Uh, again, uh, type in the word riots in my channel search feature and you'll see some of those videos. In fact, those videos brought a, new, a lot of new subscribers to the channel. Canine communication. I always love watching the interaction and uh, body language between the dogs. Ruka sees that one sitting there. She wants to walk by and get it, but uh, she doesn't want to piss the badge off. Sisters, always fun to watch them interact. Now you'll see, I can go right up and pet her. Again, she's not being food aggressive, that's communication between them, you know, she's letting her know that she's taking possession of this. She did let Ruka have that piece though, you saw, despite a little bitching. Great toast. That says, hey, that was mine. <laughs> and Ruka took that opportunity to grab another one. See, badge, you snooze, you lose. And again, you can see I can pet all these dogs when they even put my hand right by their mouth. None of them care. That's because since they've been uh, eating food, I've really desensitized them to that by, uh, hey, sweetie, give me some more love. I've really desensitized them by uh, spending a lot of time uh, touching and handling them when they eat. Mr. Kratos coming and grabbing some more. Badge is over here uh, grabbing the other one that Kratos had. Meanwhile, uh, Rook is making a pile. <laughs> Kill it, Badge. Yeah, you can see the workout they get uh, eating raw food too. Kratos here giving me love. You can see the workout they get too. I mean, they, they get a, not besides the oral workout of all the chewing, you know, the pulling. They work their shoulders, their neck, arms. Ah, don't, don't lick the screen. Dad says, hey, I, I liked that one. What are you doing? Meanwhile, Ruka's scooping up the extras. <laughs> What's up, bitch? You're a great man. You can let her take that. Trade it. Meanwhile, Mom's the smart one. She's off by herself, chewing in private. 
Badger. Oh. <laughs> Ritos woke, ran in and stole mom's. It's all right, mom will grab that one. Again, Rick is a pretty girl. She has the sweetest temperament. She's just a big lover. What's up, Mama? You looking for more? Girl. It's too plain. Damn, it's getting hot in here. That's a furnace fit for a whole house. It heats this little room uh, pretty quick. <laughs> By the way, if uh, you're wondering what the heck those bones are, uh, years ago I made some uh, wind chime bone sculptures out of some uh, cow skeletons. There you go, ma'am. You can see these puppies are huge. They don't look like puppies anymore. It's hard to believe they're five months old. I mean, Kratos is taller than his mom. Badge might be too. Maybe sometime in the future, because I've had some requests, I'll uh, shoot a video on uh, what some of our workouts look like. As somebody that's uh, older and uh, suffered uh, a severe back and knee injury, I tend to do uh, a lot more uh, body weight calisthenics type stuff, but. Uh, I do still uh, do a lot of strength training with weights also. I just have to work around my injury. As I've said in other videos, uh, motion is lotion. You have to use it to lose it. It's especially uh, important uh, the older you get to do uh, some type of strength training. You know, they say uh, males after, uh, you know, 35, 40 years old, uh, you know, you lose two to three pounds of muscle a year that's replaced by fat if you're not using it. And uh, over time that ends up. Coming over to get some love badge. Meanwhile, the sly Ruka taking a page out of her mom uh, Ulu's book uh, sneaks into steel. Such a sweetie pie. Edge. 
Well, good. The people were wanting to see the dogs interact and eat some food together. So uh, I thought I'd shoot this for you. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Spent a lifetime doing a lot of martial arts stuff. That's why you see uh, Bob there. <laughs> see just how uh, friendly and lovable these guys are. Well that's all. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell down below. You'll get email notifications when our new videos come out. Hit our Teespring store. Lots of uh, cool t-shirts and sweatshirts. We have five different designs. Uh, check him out. Buy from the beautiful Ulu, the Crate Man, Mr. Kratos, the Badge, of course, and the Collector of Deer Limbs, Miss Ruka. <laughs> Girl. Man, she is a woman on a mission. Yeah, look at the workout they get from this. What are you getting into, Badge? There you go. See ya. Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below.